Okay, we're back with another one here. As you can see, we've got another World Tech Toys drone on the table today. So this is going to be a quick unboxing and show you what you get. So on uh, the website that I got this, again, Hobbytron.com, it was only 24 bucks right now, so I'll have a link in the description below. I know it's really old school design quad, but I had to check it out. It's super huge. It's got LEDs all the way around the outside edge that I'm really excited to check out. Um, it is a brushed quad. Um, again, I'll have a link in the description if you guys want to check it out. Hopefully the price is still that if you're interested in it. Um, but I think it's a phenomenal value for what you're getting, um, especially being shipped from a U.S. seller and you're not waiting from China. I can't stress that enough. Um, again, Hobbytron <clears throat> have some, uh, some really good pricing on some of their older drones. I'm sure this has been out for a while, but I had to check it out and I didn't really see many videos online. So on their website, they call it the Sphere Drone. Um, on other websites that I've seen online, it's called the Horizon Spy Drone. And it seems like most companies who are selling this... Um, they're selling it for well over 100 bucks, so I don't know that I would tell you to part with 100 bucks for this, but nonetheless, uh, Hobbytron.com, $24, so huge deal right now uh, on this drone, and it's a big quad with big, huge prop guards, so I think it'll be a fun beginner flyer, and there's no altitude hold, so again, this is old school uh, design as far as, you know, it doesn't keep its altitude, you have to manage the throttle, which I prefer, because then you... You know, you really force yourself to, to, to learn how to fly a quad or a drone, whatever you want to call it, uh, quickly. Anyhow, so really nice packaging here. This would be a great uh, Christmas gift for somebody. Uh, any of the previous drones that I've that I've featured, I think, would be. And they're all, again, uh, under 30 bucks. I think everything I've reviewed is under 30 bucks from a U.S. seller, and you don't have to wait from China or anything like that. So this does have a video camera on the front um, of it. So, of course... Um, you can take your photos and videos, but again, I wouldn't, I wouldn't stress that it's probably just a, just a fun camera, nothing serious. It is 2.4 gigahertz, so you can fly many of them and it should have a pretty good distance of flight. Um, and then of course you can do flips and stunts with it as well. Um, as you can see here, the transmitter's design is just like the, uh, other, uh, Hobbytron or World Tech toy drones that I've, um, uh, reviewed. So let's go ahead and open this bad boy up and let's see see what it all comes with so it's a big box on this one it's a really good sized drone so let's set that aside here so check that out nice little background there so you're going to take your scissors and snip out those looks like there's two zip ties holding this quad down and one holding down the transmitter little piece of tape holding down the props so you do get a let's see here is it a full set yes you do have a full set of spare props that come with this drone and what else is in this goodie bag so it is going to use JST uh, lipo battery so you should be able to find extras or just order the extras from Hobbytron while you're ordering this bad boy up so hopefully it flies well anyways so Pretty basic USB charger with a JST connector. Of course, you could always charge it with your hobby grade chargers if you got one. And again, it does come with a USB reader and a micro SD card. So it's probably small, just little 8 gigabyte. I'm sure that's kind of what they've always been, either 4 or 8 gigabytes. And let's see how big this one is. It might even be smaller. Uh, looks like this one's only just a 1 gigabyte, so, you know not going to put a lot of memory on that. You're going to want to unload those photos and videos, and we'll test that card and that reader. Again, full set of spare props. Let's grab our transmitter out of here. So again, nice hobby-grade style. Again, it's not hobby-grade. It's just a toy. Um, you're going to take four double A's in the back, and on the front, everything's laid out very nicely. Again, a little telemetry screen with your on-off switch. You're going to have your uh, speeds, your rates. This, this is going to be ways. Um, your speeds looks like this is your flip button here so we don't have the shoulder buttons on top um, kind of stinks I would wish you'd had that up there so you can just hit it and flip instead you're gonna have to do an awkward push and then flip I guess I don't know we'll see uh, your throttle again um, you've got your trims for your throttle your yaw your pitch and your roll Man, I don't know those trim buttons shouldn't do anything because it's not altitude hold so 
Well, we're just having all kinds of technical difficulties today. Your video button here and your photo button right there. So everything's pretty straightforward there. Let's go ahead and take a look at the drone and try to do this one-handed here. I apologize. My mount is giving me issues. So anyways, good size drone. Check that out. Very good size. Um, of course, it's made out of kind of this foam material. So it's going to be... Um, very very beginner friendly as far as being able to bump into things but to keep in mind you might damage those leds so um you know thinking about that might not be the greatest option uh, for a beginner because your prop guards are going to be bumping in and messing up those leds so um anyways uh Got the little Horizon Spy Drone, World Tech Toys. Just kind of a, just a cheap plastic little cover on there just to give it some coloring. I do like that they have the colored prop guards on this one so you can get a good um, orientation when you are flying. Again, you have that little camera on the bottom of the drone. So you've got a little adjustable uh, lens there and then your LiPo battery with the JST connector. So uh, let's see how big this, see how big this LiPo is right here. What I like about these are, you know, you can it's pretty much universal as long as you stay within the same uh, same type of size battery, then you should be fine. That is a snug fit on that lipo. Keep that in mind. You are not going to be able to get a bigger battery in there. So that is a 850 milliamp battery uh, lipo, one cell. So you're not really good. you're going to want to make some dimensions take some dimensions on this if not just pick up some extra batteries from world tech toys while you're ordering this because that is a snug compartment so again camera on the bottom you've got your brushed motors nice little landing gears and the arms on it are kind of like a metal uh, framing so really really cool i'm excited to check this out and the main reason again big uh big size drone so again i'm sure it's gonna you know the wind's gonna take it you're not gonna want to fly in a really windy day but i'm hoping to get a night flight and check out these leds it's gonna be really sweet i know you guys probably want to see the leds right now but you're gonna have to come back see the flight video check out these leds so it's going to be a little teaser but i think it's going to be really cool looking at nighttime so anyways if you have any questions let me know as always otherwise i've got it linked in the description below we'll see you on the flight review coming soon thanks for watching happy flying life